My name's Iowa. <laughs> and he signed up because if soldiers can jump out of a plane during World War II, why can't I make comedic jokes on stage? What? <laughs> Did soldiers really just jump out of planes? I don't know. He's a photojournalism major, and he's a junior, and he goes by the name of Jacob Balo. everybody. Give it up for Jacob. What's up, everybody? As our esteemed MC of four said, my name is Jacob Balo. Fortunately for me, I am so white, I make Casper the Friendly Ghost look tan. No, but seriously, I might what you'd be called a saltine cracker. If I had the ability to tan, maybe I could achieve Ritz cracker status. Unfortunately, that is just not the case. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little personal with you all right now. Uh, I've had this deformity since I was younger, right? And uh, you may have noticed it when I was walking in, but uh, I have a watermelon for a head. My head is so big, apparently, it's a symbol for arrogance. I mean, I knew this all along. I was just informing you all. So uh, when you go back home to mom and dad, you can say that you actually learned something at a comedy show. Like, hey, mom and dad, guess what? I learned a watermelon head means arrogance. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course, they're going to look at you like you're fucking retarded, like they somehow misguided you along the way. Like, what? Who, what? I don't even know you. And of course, they're going to start taking away their parental contributions to your collegiate career, thinking that their hard-earned dollars are going to my luminous shell up here. <laughs> Think, yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> taking you through the journey of the creative universe that is my melon. Disclaimer. Don't worry, Mom and Dad, your money is not coming towards me. I can guarantee you that. I'm so poor, every time I find a penny on the ground, I just throw my hands back and shout. I'm sorry, I just had to reference that song. It's classic. Everybody likes it. No, but uh, one of the things that's funny to me is uh, finding people who are trying to pronounce my last name for the first time. I've gotten Balog, Barlow, which actually makes no sense because there's no R in my name. It's in my middle name, but that's a different subject. But you know what my favorite one of them is so far? Baloo. You want to know why? Because pretty much every time I hear it, I just got to be like, it's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. As you can tell, I've practiced that so many times. That was absolutely flawless. As uh, the dude said, I'm from Ames, so that makes this is my 11th Visha celebration. All right. No, but this town's really good and all, except when you grow up in it, there's like few things that kind of bug me about it. One being, every time I go out to the bar, it's pretty much like a high school reunion. I'm serious. Like, what's the point of having a 15-year reunion down the road if you see everybody every weekend? Like, hey, little Timmy, what are you up to these days? Oh, same thing as last week, just going to school, working, you know, you. Well, let's see here. Since last week, I ran a marathon, cured AIDS, visited Jupiter, I'm already breaking the first rule. You're not supposed to laugh at your own jokes. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, that second thing that gets me the most is this population depression that occurs during summer, winter, and spring break. Those of you who know, stick around know what I'm talking about, uh, how it, the population goes from you feeling like a sardine on Cyride, hoping the large caramel high-rise I just purchased at the local coffee shop doesn't stain my new jeans in the awkward pattern next to my crotch that just can't help but be thought of as urine. It goes from that to what the new Mel Gibson premiere would be like, completely scattered. <laughs> no, but serious, I'm gonna go ahead and end on this note. Like last, a week and a half ago, I actually learned an interesting fact. I'm in astronomy class and on YouTube, I was searching around and apparently every planet makes their own unique sound. The magnetic waves it produces creates a sound like Jupiter's. I'm not kidding you. Sounds like a alien movie. It's like. Doo, 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 doo. Ironically, Earth sounds like a race car going around the track. It's like. Nyeow, nyeow, nyeow. 
Which, after hearing that, led me to believe that Earth is actually a redneck. <laughs> like, I can just imagine this, like, strong, muscular arm coming outside of Earth, holding a bottle, opening it up, and all of a sudden the Earth just splits in half and spits out, like, hot liquid magma, as if it's, like, <laughs> chewing tobacco. <laughs> be like, mm, Earnhardt forever. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, like, what do you think each planet would have if they had a personality? I mean, obviously the sun's going to be egocentric. Everybody floats around me, huh? If you don't like it, I'm going to shoot my solar flares. <laughs> and of course, Pluto would be that person at the party you see that talks like really slow and soft. They're like, why won't anybody listen to me? <laughs> anyway, thank you.